Hey everyone, it's another video um, from me to show you how to use SDR Sharp, the latest version from ASPire, on Mac OS X. Now I'm running El Capitan, which is the latest OS version on Mac. I'm not sure if it will work on others, but anyhow, this is uh, this is how I managed to get it working. So first thing we need to do is download the latest version of SDR Sharp. So we do that by going to spy.com forward slash download. Now some of these um, procedures that I'm going to cover, probably I'll, I'll skip some of them. Just for the pure fact is that some of the installs of certain plugins and applications that we need will take a long time. So I will literally just show you how to do them. Uh, here on the screen actually, the first screen, this is just a little crib sheet that I'm going to uh, follow. So if you want to um, pause the video, screenshot it, whatever you want to do, uh, just so that you've got this information in front of you when you're, when you're doing this yourself. Okay, so we've downloaded SDR Sharp. I'm just going to drag that out to the desktop. I'm just going to, as I always do, rename rename it so it looks a bit easier okay so there we go okay so the next step was to download mono okay so we can go to mono don't need that anymore now for this one I downloaded the mono universal installer this is quite a large actual file, it's 323 megabytes and it's a package, so once you've downloaded it, just go ahead and install it. Okay, we, I won't wait for this. It's just a straightforward um, installation and it's the mono framework um, and you, you need this. Um, the next step, step three, will be Mac ports. If you haven't got Mac ports installed already, then you will need Mac ports. Actually, go to the Mac ports download inst installation uh, instructions here and follow follow the guide. The next two items that we need to install are is port audio and RTL SDR. Now these are, inst are actually installed from. Um, from terminal so you can literally just type these in here hit enter now before you do this you have to make sure you'd followed steps one two three um, because these commands here or this particular um, command and the following one for RTOSDR is actually using Mac ports. So you, you, you do need to have those installed. Now this bit can take quite a while. So um, depending on how fast your machine is, etc. So you may want to um, go and make a cup of tea. If you're in the UK or if you're anywhere else in the world, go grab a beer uh, while it's installing. So once it's installed, uh, now mine's already installed on here, so we don't need to um, go through that. Is to uh, we need to set up some symbolic links. This is just so that uh, when you run the application, it it knows exactly where to pull the libraries from. Um, I can show you how to do that. It's very easy. So I'm just going to navigate to my um, installation folder or my downloaded folder SDR sharp on my desktop um, like this just to show you that I'm within that folder there we go so you can actually just copy this command here click enter it's very quick and the second one Now these steps are very quick. The ones prior to this are the ones which take the time, but if you just do as I said, then you'll uh, 
you'll, you'll have success. So assuming you've got up to this point without any issues, uh, which I don't see, so you should do, this is the exciting part, we should actually now be able to run uh, SDR Sharp. So still in terminal and within the installation directory or folder, we can literally now just type mono sdrsharp.exe. And there you go. Now, um, I wouldn't say that it runs perfect. Um, I can't, for some reason, I can't move the screen around. This is because it's it's made itself full screen here. Um, but what I can do if I hold the shift button, I'm holding the shift button and just dragging the side of it to make it smaller, it makes it a little bit more manageable, and I can I can see see the screen. There are some things which are going to be off, and the screen kind of goes white when I'm uh, when I'm moving things around. So I wouldn't say that it's perfect. So um, I have my RTL SDR uh, USB receiver plugged in, and what I've noticed is. that I'm not able to connect to it via USB. Well, that isn't that isn't so much of a problem because there's another way that we can connect to to our RTL SDR. Uh, and the way that we do that, we do that via um, using an application called RTL uh, TCP, which is actually already installed. Now. Sh should be already installed now. So what you need to do now is leave this um, terminal window as it is and create a new shell window. And if everything installed correctly before, what we should now be able to do is just type in RTL underscore TCP. Hit enter. Now when I hit enter or return, it should find your RTL SDR and open up a listening port on port 1234. There we go. So assuming that you can see this information here on yours, it, it's found your SDR and it's working. So I'm going to go back to SDR Sharp, go to RTL SDR TCP and I'm literally just going to click play now. It's working. Great. Can't hear anything though. So, one of the issues that I found was that um, for some reason uh, the the gain settings always get reset. So, um, just going to play it. And if I just click here, just to turn on the uh, tune is AGC. You can now see it's working. Anyway, there you go. So, um nice and quick and easy um, once you have the prerequisites installed so uh, like I said this is on El Capitan on uh, OS 10 if you've got any questions then please um, post in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe as that really helps me out thanks a lot guys